Okay, now we're being told to find Waldo. I don't know if you guys remember about this game, but it was amazing when I was little. So I decided to add an exercise about this, just to make it a little bit more fun. And actually, it's uh, it's quite different, because now we have to find something in the array, you know, so that's cool. Um, it's the same thing that you've been doing uh, since the beginning. The only difference is that it's the first time that we're going to be incorporating a condition inside the loop. Because you know you have conditions, you can ask for stuff to a computer. And uh, for example, if I have here, let, let's say, um, name is equal to Ale Sanchez R. And then if I say here, if name dot includes the letter A, then console.log, um, yes, it does, you know, and if I run it, it's going to say, yes, it does, because I am conditionally um, executing this particular line. The same way a loop, a loop allows you to conditionally execute several lines um, a particular line of code like whatever I type here it's gonna loop it's gonna be executed as many times as as the for loop executes you know it, if it's 10 times it's gonna show up 10 times so the same thing happens with conditions if you want to reinforce conditions my recommendation is to go to the for geeks Academy repositories and here you will find a different interactive tutorial this is a list of all the interactive tutorials that we have so in particularly you would want to focus on JavaScript JavaScript for beginners. This one explains a lot about conditions. You will find all of these exercises and some of them actually focus here, for example, your first if condition. Calculate the cost of the wedding by using a condition. Like there's plenty of exercise about conditions here, so that would be my recommendation. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna stay here and continue using our loops, not conditions, but maybe sometimes conditions just for little things. Like this one. If you want to find Waldo, we are going to have to first, of course, loop the entire array because we don't know where it is, right? It's a big array on purpose. Like, we don't want to just look for Waldo manually. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody has 10 users. No hospital has 10 patients. You know, every, they always have thousands within thousands of patients or thousands of students in an academy or thousands of cars in a car dealer. So you never want to go one by one. You're a coder. So you gotta have, you wanna go about one by one, but with code, right? So let i equal to zero, like always, because we wanna start at LeBron. Then we were saying that as long as i is less than people dot length, and we are here repeating all the things we've learned in the previous exercise, in all the others. We will always start and then stop at the stopping condition, and then we'll include i we're we'll, we'll gonna sum i one by one, not two by two, because then we may uh, jump some names. We don't wanna go to, from LeBron to Diamond. We wanna also go through Alaya. So let's just console log for now, you know, i, and see what happens. If you console log that, you will see that it's just basically giving you the position. Here it is. Like all of the positions looping from zero to the top so i don't want the positions i want the names and how do you retrieve the items from the array by using the positions like this you say const item it's equal or in this case i don't need to call it item i could just call it name it's equal to people in the position i so when i when i uh console log now name you'll see that instead of Printing out a bunch of position, it's gonna print out a bunch of names. Here they are, look. So, if we start from the beginning, here it is, LeBron, Alaya, Diamond, Dominique. So basically, all the names, all the way to the end with Lucas. If we scroll right, you will see that the last item is Lucas, so that's actually pretty cool. Now, now here's where the, where the conditions come because now we can say if you know if the name is equal to Wally then we console log found it you know 
that this is not what the exercise is saying, but just to to show you. And then I'm gonna put the position like I, comma I. So let's see if I run again. It's gonna say nothing. It didn't find it. You know, it's just white emptiness. Yeah, and that's because it's telling you here in the instructions that you have to compare using to lowercase because. We, we don't know how the Wally name, we assume that it was typed like this, but what if it was typed in all in lowercase, you know, like this? Let's see. Let's try again. Nothing. Still nothing. That's crazy. Let's see if by putting it all in uppercase. Wally. Who knows, you know? Still nothing. So maybe with just Wally like this. Ah, because it's not Wally, my bad. It's Waldo. Oh my god. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, it, it was found on the 65 and on the 198. There it is. Um, about the two lowercase thing. Um, it's saying here that you may want to use two lowercase because because maybe they misspell it and they put it with lowercase you know and it, you're not gonna find it like this look you don't find it it's, it's not found it never printed anything so this this if here jumped from line number seven to line number nine straight away it didn't pass through the eight line because this condition is not true ever so but if you do if you do name dot to lowercase you know not to local lowercase my bad to lowercase then it will find it because it will make it lowercase and then it will compare it to this lowercase version you know so it, now it's finding it look so that's what I was trying to do here with this hint and that's pretty much it let's test it and see if it works ah well no it's, test, it's telling us that we have to uh, please look there and print the positions so I don't want to print found it I just want to print the positions and that's it and let's test it. And there it is. It's working.